hello guys i'm back again with another video thank you so much for coming good morning good afternoon good evening i greet you all according to your time my name is jennifer in case you are seeing my face for the very first time you are watching gist with jenny and you are welcome to gist with jenny guys let's dive right into this video so these are the headlines for today's gist we are going to be looking at what nollywood actress sonia ogiri said concerning davido and Shoma's marriage okay so the next one we are going to be looking at is Cora Obidi. Her husband made a recent update concerning his new status. I'm here to share with you guys what he posted on his Instagram page. The next one we are going to be looking at is Jane Mena, an Instagram influencer. She is also a professional dancer. She also made a very important post recently and I'm here to also share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure you watch this video to the end so without further ado let's dive into this video so on to the first gist we have sonia ogiri sonia ogiri is a nollywood actress you guys already know tonto dk bestie okay she took to her instagram page you know to write this long post about davido and Shoma. in fact she said that davido is one of her favorite celebrity and she loves their relationship okay according to what she said she said that she loves them so much and she felt so bad when the rumor of their breakup was you know trending on social media okay and she also said that she really wants the both of them to be together in fact she told her fans that they should pray for the video and Chioma. but guys let me just read to you guys what she posted on her instagram page recently concerning the video and Chioma's marriage so she took to her instagram page and she wrote this who else is thinking what i am thinking after seeing the video's fourth child it's high time we pray for his marriage my love for him is incomparable to another. Hence, I tag him my best artist in the world. Please, Davido, no more baby mamas. If you won't settle with she who we have been praying for, we will be so happy if you take your first love, Sophia. I don't know who advised she to join the baby mama table after the much love he showed publicly which we all saw clearly how he was ready to marry her and getting pregnant in the midst of that hot love would have made them end up together by now you know when in a hot hot i feel so bad for the situation each time they cross my mind in all a big congratulations on the new addition that's what she said she said that she feels so bad in the condition that Shoma is now that she thought that Davido and Shoma would have gotten married. Again, she also questioned Shoma why she got pregnant. That being she knew she wouldn't have gotten pregnant, she wouldn't have joined the baby mama gang. But that's not the way it turned out. It turns out that Shoma now has a baby boy for Davido. So in her mind, she felt that if Shoma did not get pregnant, Davido would have married her. I don't know, but what do you guys think? Do you think that the video would have married Chioma if she hadn't gotten pregnant? Or and she also advised the video to marry Sophia. If he doesn't want to marry Chi, he should consider Sophia. Can you imagine? So now, women are now begging men to marry. Like, they're now begging the video to marry Chioma or marry Sophia. I Me, mean, I don't understand this our generation, no. Eh? Can you imagine? You're now begging someone, eh, hey, marry Chioma now, or oh, please now marry Sophia if you don't want to marry Chioma. It's, it sounds somehow, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but for me, it really sounds somehow. They should just let David be. I keep saying it. Let him be. Let him do what is in his mind. Too much of begging him to marry Sophia, marry Chioma, it will not make him not to cheat tomorrow if he still wants to cheat. Shebi Choma was, um, was pregnant with Ife just five months and he went and got another, another woman pregnant. So this is not about begging the video or praying for the video to settle down. It's about the video himself knowing what he wants for himself. Okay? It's about the video knowing what he wants for himself. If he wants to settle down with... Um, with Chioma, fine. If he wants to settle down with Sophia, fine. Anyone he wants is okay. So no need to force things. No need to beg or to do anything. I don't know what you guys think about this right up. Just let me know your own opinion about this in the comment section. 
below okay so moving on to the next gist is about Cora Obidi and her husband you guys already know Cora Cora is a dancer a professional dancer he's also an influencer in fact she's a social media person okay so you guys already knew what happened few months back with her husband she had issues with her husband it went around all social media platform i even made a video about it here and you know every time they keep updating us on one thing or the other if it's not cora doing this one is the man saying his own and everything the last gist i heard about the man posted on his instagram story is that he said that he went to de detoxify himself from cora's juju that cora used juju on him <laughs> My people, I don't know. So why people even believe in Juju? This is the first time I'm hearing that Oyibo, oh, them, they believe say Juju Day. Like, guys, I don't know. But this man, recently, he posted this girl you are seeing right now on your screen. This, so this lady is his new girlfriend. According to the post he made, he said that night with, he tagged the lady. Okay? As in, guys, I don't even understand. Under how many moons? You just had issue with your wife. You already have somebody here. Yeah. In fact, do we still have love in this world? I don't know, but guys, this is just it for these two people. If Cora should start her own, now people will start dragging Cora. Look at this man has gone to pick another girl just a few months after their marriage saga, and no one is dragging him. People should not drag Cora when Cora starts her own. Now. So moving on to the next gist is about um, Jane Mena. Jane Mena and Cora, you know, they seem to have the same issue on social media. Both of them they are friends and they are also influencers and professional dancers. But this Jane Mena own was that lady that had issue with Prince Popogiri then. The one that, that we heard Popogiri said in a leaked voice note that he knocked her from morning to night is this lady. Okay, so recently now this lady made another revelation on her Instagram post and according to her status, she's a married woman. You guys already know that. And yes, she's a married woman. After all that was was that went round then, you know, a lot of things happened to this lady, you know, during that time. A lot of criticism, drags and everything went on. They really dragged her on social media that she slept with Prince Popo Giri and all. Let me not just go into detail. But recently, she made this post on her Instagram page. She posted this video you are seeing right now on your screen. And she said, me and you know say the boy they show you Shege. Break up now and join our single association. Something like that. Yeah. This um, video that she posted on her Instagram page, she wrote this there. And this is what she said, that you should break up with your man if the person is showing you Shege and come and join the single association. Yeah, I don't know if she's trying to tell people that she's now single. But this post looks somehow for me. I think maybe she's now single, she's no longer married to her husband. I don't know because during that time that um that the saga went around social media, it's you know it really caused a lot of problems for, for her in her husband's home, including her in laws and all of that. So I don't know if she's like trying to hint us that she is now single and she's no longer married to her husband. So this was a post she made that if your partner is giving you shege, she's talking to women that you should break up and join their single association. Guys, a lot of things have just been going on in this uh, space, this social media space, honestly. So this is just it for this lady, Jane Mena. Guys, what do you all think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. So I'm going to hold it here for now. Please do not forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Always know that you are highly loved and appreciated by me. I love you guys. Bye.